Hello, everyone. I am really excited to bring you Ryan Tram. Uh, Ryan's a young musician from Southern Ontario in Canada, and he is just finishing up university there. He was uh, studying music, and we met through a Facebook group for musicians. And we quickly discovered we're both YouTubers. We both love YouTube, we make videos, and we put them on YouTube. So I asked Ryan if he'd be down to talk with me, and he agreed. So here's the, uh, the interview with him, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Would you call yourself like an electronic dance music um, artist? Or how, how, would you, how would you describe your music and kind of frame it? Um, framing it, I think I don't want to like limit myself to just yeah. electronic music. Totally. Um, I mean, I did at first, but then um, uh, I started getting into more acoustic stuff through my friend Jeremy. Mm -hmm. um, there's like a certain charm to it. That's yeah. kind of like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Just like kind of like open and free. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your um, song to your sister was like, like my all-time favorite. That is, it's really beautiful because it's that. It's open and free and it's so authentic and direct. So, um, I usually just say like, um, I'm like a, a chill music producer. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I find three, three to five words is good to just, you know, um, yeah, that's good. Chill music producer. I got to work on that. <laughs> I guess like I started making my own stuff in grade, I guess, I guess mostly 11 or 12, awesome. that was a few years ago. Um, it was kind of like, uh, I just got a, a copy of Logic and then um, I was kind of experimenting on there. Fine. Then uh, it's, it's like a YouTube like techniques and stuff, like, yeah. um, like how you can achieve certain sounds or like certain, um, through doing such techniques and I just kind of like keep practicing from there. Yeah, totally. I really like, um, there's this Korean, uh, indie R&B artist. Ooh. Her name is, like, Uyo. Beautiful. Can you spell and, um, that? I'll look her up. Yeah, uh, it's, um, O-O-H-Y-O. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I can, like, link you to that yeah, later. Please. But, like, um, she's, like, uh, I don't even know how you describe her sound. It's, like, it's electronica, but mixed with, like, um, I guess, like, like indie aspects of it, but there's also like fancy chords that I kind of dig. Ooh. I don't know. I'll check that out. Mm -hmm. it sounds like it's a mix of different genres. Yeah, so like, that's kind of like I find the appeal. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to like just stick with one genre. I want to like mix elements together. I totally understand that. Um, I just knew music was something I wanted to do. Yeah right after high school so then um i was like why not like just use like school as a way to like network I yeah think that's a big aspect of it yeah as well as um just like become like an overall better rounded musician because there's only so much you can learn by yourself but one of the courses i had to take was um class guitar great so this is the only guitar course you have to take in like the whole four years of the, the program. Wow. So then they have to like equip you with all the skills you need. Yeah, and, um, sure. I got a lot out of it. Got something out of my music education. Yeah, yeah. for sure. How would you, because I know there's kind of a debate with musicians. Some people say, people have mixed feelings about formal learning versus, um, you know, a more intuitive style or whatever. Um, uh -huh. Would you recommend a, a, how was the experience for you? And what would you say to someone who was thinking, you know, maybe should I take this class or this course? I would say find the program for you. Cause um, as of like in, within, as of recently in like the past few years, a lot of, I can see why people would debate how like formal music education wouldn't be great for something more intuitive. Mm -hmm. And that's because, um, a lot of like standardized uh, music programs follow that Western classical music right. path, but there are like programs recently in Canada. I don't know about the U.S., but in Canada, um, there's like a lot more popular music studies now. Cool. Yeah. 
So uh, just find the program that's right for you. Hey guys, it sounds so like you've had a, make, like, a long yeah. time friendship with your creative partner, and um, um, you made a special announcement. So what? Um, it sounds like you guys will be working more together, and um, I'm curious about the progression of the creative relationship and um, why this step at this point. Like, what what made you? Okay, now it's time to do to do this. Um, I've actually uh, I met Jeremy. Last year, yeah, we've only known each other for two years. Mm. Um, but he's a, a great friend. Uh, why we decided to partnership was because, um, I was like, like, say 2018, it was like my goal to be more active and post more content. Yeah. Um, I found that really difficult with school. Yeah. <laughs> so I kind of just limited myself to like one, one track a month. But then um, with my friend Jeremy, uh, he, he he has he's a great musician. He has great musical ideas, but he doesn't. He kind of like lacks the the production knowledge to produce it. Mm -hmm. And um, I have that knowledge, and he already influences my music a lot. Mm -hmm. um, so then I kind of invited him, like, hey, is this something you want to join me on? And um, we're already doing projects together, anyways. Like aside from when I was going solo, but like since we're like in a partnership now we can like produce more content together yeah that is so smart especially when one is um has like a, a gift in one area and the other has a complimentary gift that's like bonus you know because mm -hmm. he's got ideas and you have the technical skill and yeah super that's cool um mm -hmm. do you think you'll um once exams pass and whatnot do you think you'll increase your production from from one video a month to maybe two or yeah definitely yeah cool Um, I've got, um, like, three or four projects balancing right now. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the other projects. I'm curious. Um, so, kind of, like, to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of announce, not announce, like, um, kind of, like, debut, like, Jeremy's, like, entrance into, like, our partnership. Beautiful. We're working on, um, an EP right now. Great. Uh, we actually finished one song. Cool. Um, the first song of the track, and we're gonna drop it soon. Great. As long as, as soon as we find footage. Yeah, yeah. But, um, Keep me posted. And then uh, we, I'm working on a few like personal collaborations with some friends and stuff. Cool. I think just like uh, just getting better technically was my overall goal, but mm -hmm. I didn't like necessarily keep like benchmarks to keep myself on track. Mm -hmm. Um, I just knew like it was something I knew I was improving. That was like something I realized as an afterthought. Right. Like looking back at the end when I was making the year end video, and yeah. I was like, oh wow, I started from this kind of uh, this more basic track to something that's more technically advanced. Got it. Yeah. Um, hey, do you want to go out? <laughs> oh my god, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> no worries, yeah. What do you want? Okay, Kirby, come here. All right, go out. <laughs> Very vocal. <laughs> She's a young kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Um, oh. Awesome, yeah. There's um, there's an app I actually use to like go collaborate with like other people that I don't usually meet. Um, it's called Vamper. Vamper. Have you ever heard of it? No. Let me write this down with a V. Yeah. So it's V A M P R. Cool. Yeah. And it's it's kind of like a Tinder, but not. Well. Yeah. That's so cool. like it's like a Tinder for musicians where you kind of like set up your your portfolio, like you put two tracks on. And you say, um, I'm looking for, and like, you, you pick from a different op bunch of options, and you go like, I'm looking for a singer, songwriter, producer, and then basically, they'll match you up with other people, and then you say like, I am a producer, awesome. clarinet player, or something like that, right? And then they kind of, the app matches, not matches, like suggest people that you might want to work with, oh, and then totally you can cool. take a listen to like their portfolio and see if you're interested. Oh man, that's perfect. This is the cool thing about technology now. You know, there's some downsides, but stuff like that is so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like I've met a few people and we're working on a few collaborations. Like awesome. we're in the talks right now, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. Or, okay, I would say practice more. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a good yeah. one. <laughs> Practice is good. But um, I think I would tell myself, start learning uh, jazz harmony early on. Because that's like something I was interested in, uh, like just kind of now. Or within the past few years. And that's kind of like helped shape um, my music. Yeah. Um, so if I had known earlier I wanted to pursue, then I would, I think I would produce like, better content? I don't know. Um, what would you say to um, someone of any age just starting to get into songwriting, maybe they're considering an open mic or starting to explore home recording? Uh -huh. um, I, I'm in a couple different Facebook groups and whatnot. People often have so much hesitation and fear. What would you say to someone like that? Um, I would say just go for it, um, or kind of like fake it until yeah. you make it. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, I'm nowhere near the person, well not, in terms of confidence, nowhere near as I was like five years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, and what really helped were those open mics and kind of things, um, and also just creating content. Yeah. Um, the, I, I find like my philosophy is like the more you make, the better you get. Yeah, that's definitely and, true. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, just kind of, I would just say like, not push yourself, but like, make sure you like, you actively get out there and have like a supporting group of friends that will help push you. Yeah, that's good advice. That's definitely true. I totally feel you on that. Just keep making. There's this idea of fail rapidly. You know, make it sucks. Do it. Do another one. It's a little better. Do another one. It's a little better. And just. Uh -huh. Um, I like that idea that the whole thing of just don't, don't get attached and stuck. Do you how do you think that music can unite um, a divided world? And um, yeah, just your thoughts about that. Um, that's funny you asked that question. That's kind of like what my program I'm studying is about. Beautiful. <laughs> Um, so I'm in a program, it's a, it's actually a, a pretty new program, it's, um, I'm like the first bachelor undergraduating class of it, mm -hmm. so my program is called Community Music. Beautiful. So Community Music is, um, kind of like a means to music that's kind of like, um, trying to involve people, rather having, rather where music originally would be like working something to perfection and then playing it for an audience right community music is more centered around there is no audience everyone is part of the performance yeah like Fair. so i think music can bring people together um i've had some people like just message me from like the uk um just asking about like my music and i've never like talked to this person before yeah that's cool so I, th I think it's really cool how music can just unite people from like different backgrounds. Yeah, I totally agree. I like that community music. It sounds like it's participatory, and I like that you this sense of um, kind of eliminating this Western concept of performer and audience. Mm -hmm. And in other cultures and sort of regions, music is um, a ubiquitous everyday activity mm -hmm. that's like breathing. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, people sing while they're harvesting crops or it's just mm -hmm. it's not a polished performance kind of no. kind of thing um, which which one would you be and why so <laughs> i looked at this question I was like what? i like apples i like apples too i don't have a reason why <laughs> i would like to be an apple Um, so you said you had a lot of stuff, a lot of projects coming up. Tell me, tell me, um, what, what's cooking? What can we look for in the next, like, two to three months? Two to three months? Um, I've had the idea of wanting to do, like, my own whole album. Cool. Um, I haven't decided whether I want to make it acoustic or just make it electronic. I think I might do both. Awesome. Um, because... I guess like over, I guess over the school year, like I kind of like my break from like studying, I would just make my own music. 
and there there are a few songs that are just purely electronic and a few songs that are just purely acoustic right so i think maybe this summer um i'll have the opportunity to like just work out some stuff on my own that's and, great like, get it done thanks for you know giving me the time and uh yeah stay in touch for sure of course yeah awesome. thank you all right ciao dude take care